last platform for accessing this genuine empowerment. This word is called impartation. To be Power that is accessed through alignment with anointed vessels. Power that is accessed. Now please listen as I wrap up. Power that is accessed through your alignment with anointed vessels. This word can turn your story around. This word can transform you. In Philippians chapter 1 and verse 7, Paul was speaking to the church in Philippi. And he wraps up that statement by saying, Ye all are partakers of my grace. Partakers of my grace. A man can be a partaker of the of another person. And the way God does it is this. When God wants a people to experience a dimension of his empowerment, he does not start with a crowd. No. He starts with a man. When he finds that man, he enters a covenant with that man. That covenant becomes a platform for transmuting that dimension of power or that possibility. Not everything, but the dimension he seeks to flow to the nations. And when God accredits that man, nobody will access that dimension of power ignoring the presence of that covenant this is how god works so when he sends a word to jacob the intent is that it is lightened upon all israel jacob only becomes a starting point of that journey so he calls abraham but the intention is the entire globe are we together you ignore abraham you will not even reach jesus this word can turn your story he spoke to abraham and said in this shall all the families of the earth be blessed and Paul taught us that that blessing was to Abraham and his seed. The seed not being Isaac. Isaac could not replicate it to all of us. The seed being Christ. Galatians 3.29 says, And if ye be Christ, then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. So when God finds a man, a conduit to transmit his prosperity, a conduit to transmit his healing. He enters a covenant with that man. That man becomes his referral point across that dispensation. No matter how arrogant you are, you ignore the presence of that man. You pray and fast, and there are certain dimensions of that grace you will never touch.